Clue. What the hell? Yeah. Uh-huh. What I the, scared you. What the Halloween? Uh, I, I, it's Halloween. Ooh. Ooh. We have a scary episode all about Halloween by the numbers. I don't like scary. Coming up next on Men Are So Smart. That was magic. Boom. Hi, Sparky. <laughs> How you doing? I'm a little sparky. Welcome to Men Are So Smart with our spooky... Spooktacular. Halloween special. <laughs> Today, we're talking about Halloween by the numbers. Is it Halloween or Halloween? Halloween. Uh, we call it Halloween. Halloween. You want to fight? <laughs> Not again. Okay. I just put my tooth put back. With in. Halloween just three weeks away... <laughs> What? Let's try that again. Yeah. <laughs> With Halloween today, people across the country are wearing costumes, decorating homes, and buying candy. But just how much candy does the average person buy? Who prefers chocolate in their bag? And are all those kids who trick or treat in Batman costumes part of a trend? I think they are. They might be. Uh, to find the answers to these questions and many others, there was some ga some data gathered from around the web on numerous Halloween sites. Okay. Uh, the National Retail Federation and American Haunts provided information on consumer spending, trick-or-treating habits, and safety discussions. Okay. All together, this data shows how Americans celebrate the spooky holiday. And so now, Halloween by the numbers. Uh, Halloween 2018 is expected to be one for the record books. Spending this holiday is estimated to reach at least $9 billion, the mm. second highest mark in the past 14 years, according to the National Retail Federation. Halloween, Halloween 2017 holds the current record with $9.1 billion spent. That seems like a lot of money. It is. Yeah. Even the guy that hit that super mega lotto, he couldn't afford that. <laughs> no, not no. you couldn't put the whole Halloween yeah, bill. Yeah, he only got one point six billion. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, the costumed young, forty one point one million children will be wearing costumes. If I could just have one dollar from each oh, one of those. Oh man! Uh, while adults maintain a love for designing costumes and gathering for the holiday. The kid population is really the ones making the most out of Halloween. Uh, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, there are an estimated 41.1 million children between the ages of 5 and 14. 14 is a little old to be trick-or-treating. Uh, who could be out trick-or-treating this year. Wow, that's a lot of kids. Please Man. be careful when you're driving. Yes. You know, yeah. the sun's going down a lot sooner. Be careful tonight. Uh, although, out here, typically Halloween time... It's a little chilly, so you yeah. see Superman wearing a coat. We that, that won't be there this year, so all of those reflective costumes oh. will actually show up. Okay. Across the United States, 40,900 acres of pumpkins were harvested back in 2015. Wow. Illinois is the top producer of pumpkins in the country, Ronnie. Dang. I, I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah. Uh, this one, candy. Favorite candy. Okay. 40,000 people were polled. Uh-huh. I think we know how painful that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to determine each state's favorite Halloween candy. Oh, interesting. Only three kinds showed up among the top choices of each state. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, Kit Kat, Butterfinger. Okay, let's talk. Let's break it down. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Big fan. I'm mm. a fan of Kit Kat. Butterfinger? I don't like Butterfinger. It makes my teeth hurt. It's kind of weird texture. Yeah, it's kind of um, hard and brittly. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, not big on that. Not the chewy nougat. I kind of... Um, huh. And you know what else didn't get mentioned there? Snickers. A Snickers. I wonder if that... I wonder if this the company that's footing the bill for this story... Oh, uh, there's a method to their madness. Maybe that's what it is. Because you know what? My favorite candy bar is just a plain old milk chocolate Hershey's bar. Oh, my God. Do you remember the ones the that best. came in the red and white package? 
Red, uh, that was a, oh, you remember that? That, that was Nestle's, though. Nestle, oh, that okay. That was Nestle's. Nestle's. That's also, my favorite. I can't find them anywhere. That's also very good. I'm not sure they're even out there anymore. Snickers, okay. I'm not big on the peanuts and candy. Yeah. Um, I do. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Talking out of both sides of my face. <laughs> I love the Baby Ruth. Oh, really? I love me a Baby Ruth bar. How about a hundred grand bar? Oh, I love those, those too. Really with the good. crispies, rice yes. crispies. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. I think I might go trick-or-treating tonight. <laughs> I'm going to do my magic again. Watch. Okay. Watch. You want to see a magic trick? Watch. Yeah. You just made candy disappear. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> All right. Favorite candy. Um, let's see. Uh, next up on our list is an old holiday. Did you know Halloween originates from a pagan festival that's more than 2,000 years old? The festival, called Samhain, was first celebrated by the Celtic people. So it's yeah. not even an American tradition. No, no. Oh, well. Uh, the cost of costumes, $3.2 billion. Wow. And that actually seems low, seeing how they were talking about 41. Well, I guess that might be just about right. Yeah. Because they were saying 41.1 million kids would be buying costumes. Right. Uh, prizes, or at least pride, often go with the most creative costumes. In pursuit of that trophy, consumers are expected to spend $3.2 billion on ready-made costumes and costume-making supplies this year. What, Dang. Do, what do you think about those costume rental places? I wonder how they do financially. So, I mean, it's only a couple of months out of the year, really. Uh, if that. You know, there's a magic store slash costume store on Fair Oaks near Manzanita. And you can go by there 360 days out of the year, and there's one car in the parking lot. Yeah. It's the guy who's working there. Right. I drove past it yesterday on my way home from my mom's <laughs> parking lot's full. Yeah. <laughs> Completely sure. full. Uh, you know, for many years I've... Uh, well, f uh, first of all, let me say this. I'm not really a big fan of this holiday. Yeah. And first of all, if you're planning on trying to trick or treat at the Gallagher compound, first of all, it's not going to happen. You're not going to make it to the door. I got a rock. <laughs> you're, we have an armed guard out there. You're going to have to get by that guy. And you know who he reminds me of? Clint Eastwood. So don't do that. Okay. And, and stay off of my lawn. My wife and I turn out all the lights and we go watch TV in the back bedroom. We don't want that. The bell ringing every dang 10 seconds. And, you know, you, you, there you go. Okay, there you go, kids. Thank you. Bye. Well, Close door. And then ding dong. I didn't even sit down. It, and well, and if you have dogs. Oh, that too. It's super inconvenient. Oh, for because sure. Because they bark every damn time yep. the, do mm -hmm. the doorbell rings mm -hmm. or somebody knocks at the door. And our dogs are not big fans of strange people. <laughs> And so we have to put little baby gates up, and it's just it's super. And then somebody has to either climb over the baby gate or just live in the front room. Right. Oh man, I don't look forward to Halloween. Enjoy, kids. Have yeah. a good time tonight. Yeah, it's, you should almost. I'm I'm just tempted to put a big, you know, pumpkin full of hall, uh, candy out front. You can't trust those kids. If though. the first two kids empty it, <laughs> that so be it. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, kids. Yep. Out of candy. Them 14-year-olds got it. I'm going to give away toothbrushes if you can make it past the guard. <laughs> so, again, don't even try. Uh, you know where they invented toothbrushes, don't you? Where? Uh, it was in Rio Linda. Because if it were any place else, they'd have been called teeth brushes. Yeah, that's a that's a local joke. Are you trying to alienate an entire Rio <laughs> Linda audience? <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Both of them that have internet. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, we're talking about the same Rio Linda that Rush Limbaugh is talking about. Yes. Okay. we I live very close to there. You do. I do. I'm only about five miles away from Rio Linda. All right, what's next up on our list, Ronnie? Uh, so, early buyers, 6%. Some devotees to the holiday dive into hol uh, the Halloween spirit well before the seasons change. According to Consumer Guide, 6% of the Halloween celebrating population will make their purchases 
before the month of September. Extreme. Uh, so along this same note, I went into uh, Walmart the other day to pick up prescriptions. Christmas lights are already for sale. They're selling Christmas lights already. It's not even Halloween yet. No. Not Thanksgiving yet either. Yeah, I don't have my Thanksgiving lights up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on the way over here to your uh, house today, uh, we, we shoot our show at Ronnie's house. I saw that one house that's all decorated with all the... Oh, they go crazy. Yeah, but that's not even... That's not gone crazy. On my way home from work every night, I go by on El Verde Road <laughs> near Rio Linda. <laughs> uh, I go by this one house. This lady decorates for every holiday. Christmas is, of course, the biggest one. Right. But she goes all out for Halloween. And you're saying, well, how, how can I know? Well... I'll try to get a picture, but um, let's say that the average person that decorates their house puts up like 10 items. Okay. Okay. She puts up 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> it would take you an hour to try to walk on her front lawn over all the stuff that she's got out there. She's got words spelled out. Oh, she's wow. She's got witches that are flying through the air. That's it's, a little extreme. It really is, but she does it for every holiday. A little over the top. Yeah. All right. Next up on our list. Whoops. Next up on our list. Gathering of skeletons. The largest gathering of skeleton costume people occurred at... Swansea University in the United Kingdom, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, 2,018 people gathered for the event dressed as skeletons. Huh. I've never gone as a skeleton. Uh, I, I did, but I didn't do any face makeup or anything. Oh, just... Just had the, the little suit. Yeah. My, my typical costume is going as a convict. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of... That's ironic, yeah, I guess. Yeah, very. Yeah. Uh, so, haunted attractions. Uh, there are more than 1,200 haunted theme attractions across the country that charge admission. Wow. Uh, a lot of them are operated by charity organizations. Uh, in fact, charity organizations alone have more than 3,000. So, that would be like your churches and uh, like uh, Front Street Animal Shelter, where I volunteer, they're doing some some things also that you know try to raise some funds for their group you know what i was wondering how many times do you think your doorbell rings how, how many times tonight do you think it'll ring uh probably about between 30 and 40 times okay according to the research with millions of children celebrating tonight there will inevitably be a lot of door knocking and bell ringing. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, there are a potential 120 million trick-or-treat stops for Halloween. That doorbell is going to ring 120 million times it's gonna break my around doorbell. the world. That's too much. It seems like that's, that's low, yeah. <laughs> at least at my house. Well, you remember the days when you used to trick-or-treat? And you can get up to the house and the lights are off. Yeah. And you're like, do I ring the doorbell or no? Maybe that's part of their decoration. Right. It's just they're making it a super yeah. scary house. Yeah. No, no, no my light's off for a reason. Don't right. come up, don't ring the bell. <laughs> uh, the cost per person for Halloween, $86.13. They don't get my money. Dang. Uh, in 2017, 179 million Americans celebrated Halloween. In total, the average celebrant spent 86.13, which was a new record. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. That is. For, a, a, I don't know, it, it's like one of those holidays that... St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Arbor Day. <laughs> Tree Day. Yeah. Earth Day. There's just a lot of these holidays that... Uh, a Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is like just forwarded by florists. Yeah. They're, they make a killing on that day. I just took down my Arbor Day lights. <laughs> uh, about what about time. millennials, Ronnie? We always talk about millennials. Oh, I hate millennials. The different generations <laughs> have some nice talk. The different generations have different ideas of what makes a good costume or at least how much to spend. According to a survey, millennials spend 
just $66 on a costume compared to $25 for Generation X. And get this, $3 for boomers. That's right. Yeah. That's us. <laughs> $3. I want to put on a ski cap. I'm going to go get myself a handkerchief and go as a cowboy. I'm going to get myself some gas station sunglasses. <laughs> go as a Unabomber. Yeah. And a hoodie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I... I literally, I can't even think of the last costume I actually bought. Well, I mentioned earlier that um, being in radio, you, you got to go to a lot of these costume things. The radio station, everyone yeah. seems to have one someplace at some kind of a hotel, and all the listeners show up. And, of course, if you're one of the radio personalities, you've got to be in costume. And I hate getting in costume. Why? Because I don't like having my picture taken. Oh. Uh, okay, so... Does it steal your soul? I don't know. I'm afraid. <laughs> so I go to this costume place, and evidently they already pre-picked out costumes for everybody. Oh, nice. And so when I get there, I'm working on an oldie station, oldies radio. What do they have for me? Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. Nice. Everybody wants their picture taken with Elvis. That's true enough. The whole night, I must have taken a hundred pictures with people. Please. Were you like this? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So uh, you know, there you go. Uh, you know who? Way who is really into costumes? Who? Mutual friend. Uh, actually, I only know him through Facebook. Tony Cox. Oh, yeah, for sure. He, he yeah. goes all out on his costume. He does, every year. He has, like, professional makeup done. Mm -hmm. He went as the monkey man a year or two ago. There's pictures on Facebook of that. It is, uh, it's Planet of the Apes quality uh, makeup. Yeah, yeah. His whole family, I, I know his ex-wife and his kids and stuff, that's always been a big thing for them. Yeah, well, good, good on him. Trick-or-treating is about getting the most candy. According to WalletHub, 72% of households give out two or three pieces of candy to each trick-or-treater. What do you do? Uh, yeah, two one, or three? One piece. One piece each. One piece. Okay. And then one piece for you, one piece for me. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one piece for you, one piece for me. There's an equation. <laughs> I didn't know there would be. Another piece for me. <laughs> Nothing left for you. Right. Sorry. Too late. Light off. <laughs> no candy for you. <laughs> the candy, candy Nazi. Nazi. <laughs> Uh, the first Halloween, 1927. Can you imagine the first Halloween and you knock well, on somebody's door? you were door? there. Tell us about it. <laughs> <laughs> the first written record of trick-or-treating occurred in Canada. Of all places. The eh? record from, uh, this is from the Blackie in Alberta, 1927. Holy cow. Can you imagine just knocking on your neighbor's door and go, hey, uh, uh give me some candy. Like, what are you talking about? Uh, We're trick or treating. What? What the hell is that? <laughs> you got to give me some candy. You want me to ring the bell again? Yeah. <laughs> trick or treaters are in for a treat this year, according to the National Retail Federation. Those are the people that are putting this article together. Yes. Consumers are expected to spend two point six billion dollars on candy this year, Ronnie. That seems like a lot. Uh, that's a lot. Although we've, I feel like I've spent almost that much already. Every time we've gone to uh, Costco, last couple of times we pick up a bag of candy and then it gets, we get, we eat it. Yeah, it's never going to make it to Halloween. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so the preferential candy for Halloween, half prefer chocolate, half favor other. Well, what is other? Uh, half of trick or treaters prefer chocolate, according to Fact Retriever. The kids can't, uh, they they want chocolate, and twenty four percent prefer. Some other kind of candy. I know what we give a lot of here are those um, nerds. Oh yeah, uh, and also they're uh, the ring ring pops. Oh, my grandson loves those. Ring pops are super. Are very uh, yeah. The kids grab. They see ring pops. We just have an assortment, and they reach in. And they reach past everything else, and they grab the ring pops. I bet. So they got to be popular. Largest jack o' lantern in history, as we're doing Halloween by the numbers on our. Halloween extravaganza today. Uh, the jet largest jack-o'-lantern, 1,810 and a half pounds. Scott Cully, 
cut the masterpiece in 2010, according to Guinness uh, World, World Book of Records. That's not the beer. That's a bit. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a big ass pumpkin. It is. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's never going to leave your house. No, no. <laughs> How do you get rid of something that big? <laughs> Uh, this next one is the scary movie money. Uh huh. Ten point five billion dollars. So you got your uh, like Nightmare on Elm Street, mm -hmm. Halloween, Halloween, obviously the mm -hmm. franchise, uh, the Jason movies. Oh yeah, that's uh, which uh, there's a brand new one this year with Jamie Lee Curtis. Right. It's like forty years later. What about um? Oh crap! What's the name of that movie? Uh, well, uh, Psycho is one from way back oh, in yes. our day. Yeah. Uh, and um, Jason, uh, Friday the 13th. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, Freddy. Freddy Krueger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, so since 1955, Halloween has been big for the release of horror movies. Uh, industry has produced 543 horror movies for a total revenue of more than $10.5 billion dollars why does a girl always have to fall down on the running yeah exactly <laughs> hey, let, no there, go on without me please save yourself there's a murderer where should we hide let's hide in that scary basement yeah, that's a great idea yeah, behind yeah, all these chainsaws right right there's good <laughs> according to those stupid people that are putting on this survey witches and vampires are the most popular costume choices for adult 10.7% of adults will dress as witches, 3.7% as vampires. The third most popular costume among adults, zombie. Oh, Walking Dead mm -hmm. right now. I like sexy cheerleader. That's, there's also sexy cat. Also sexy librarian. Oh, I like that. Uh, yeah, S sexy Catholic school student. Careful. Anything. <laughs> careful. Anything that has sexy in front of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's us. <laughs> We're down. Guys go as... Uh, sexy construction worker, not so much. We... I don't know if you watch Big Bang Theory. Oh, of course I do. Uh, Every night. They just had their Halloween special on last night. And they night. all went as... Is that the one where they all went as um, The Flash? No. Oh, okay. No. This... I, I think this must have been the brand new one. Uh, Howard dressed up as Sheldon. And it was hilarious. He killed it. Oh, he's great. He he does great impersonations. He really, he really just did a phenomenal job. And he looks just like him. And Sheldon was like he was totally oblivious that he was being <laughs> mocked. Yeah, mocked a little bit. <laughs> well, that's pretty much par for the course but for Sheldon. Leonard had a uh, a hat like a fedora mm -hmm. with handlebars coming off of it and a propeller on it. He was Inspector Gadget. It was very clever costume. They've got great writers on that show. That's a brilliant show. They really do. Brilliant. All right, well, look, that's going to wrap up our Halloween spooktacular today. Yep. Uh, we hope we we didn't mean to scare you. Um, we we decided, we thought about it for a while, and we thought, should we wear costumes or not, you know? And then we thought, yeah, let's go with these costumes. I'm, I'm dressed up as a, a vlogger yeah. right now. Uh, I'm dressed up as a guy in a sweatshirt. <laughs> Yeah. Looking at a computer. Yeah. You pulled it off. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I've been preparing. I went to the rental <laughs> costume rental shop. They did a knockout job. They always do. Yep. Elvis with a sweatshirt next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, please remember, uh, the kids will be out tonight in full force. Uh, and parents with uh, wagons and flashlights and a lot of people will be on the roads. So please be careful so yep. wherever you, it is you might live. Um, you know, you know what? If you go to a Halloween party and you have a little bit too much drink, there is no reason in this day and age for anybody to get behind the wheel after having anything to drink. Absolutely. Uh, with Uber, there are all sorts of ride programs that are free. Google it before you go to the party. Uh, if you have AAA, they will actually tow you and your car home so that you don't have to get a ride the next day. So there are so many different choices. Please, please, please be responsible. All right. That's off uh, Corvette Ronnie. I'm Lou Gallagher. And that's it. And that will do it for our Halloween spooktacular. Ready? Let's scare them. Let's make our scariest faces, Ray. Mm. See you next time. <laughs>